one key concept for achieving this is personal accounts, personal savings and investment accounts, first and foremost for Social Security, where workers would be free to choose to substitute such savings and investment accounts for at least part of the current system. Now, these accounts are so important for dealing with the explosion of entitlement spending, this 20% to 40%, because they just don't just trim the growth of spending or reduce the growth of spending. They take spending out of the public sector and put it in the private sector. So the accounts are extremely powerful in addressing this explosive government spending issue. Now, you can start with an account of any size. Uh, uh, in the Ryan Sununu plan, which was introduced uh, la in the last Congress, the accounts were in the entire employee share of the payroll tax. But you can start with accounts of any size and then expand them over time. Um, over time, then they can become, re uh, people can have the freedom to choose the accounts for their entire uh, retirement uh, benefits. You can expand them later to cover survivor's benefits, cover disability benefits. It's all, again, a choice. You only do it if you want to do it. By expanding the accounts just to this point, uh, you would take 7% of G federal spending, 7% of GDP, out of the public sector and into the private sector. That's the biggest reduction in government spending in world history. With the personal accounts, besides the better benefits, you get personal ownership. This is your money. You own it directly. It doesn't go to the federal government and get spent on other, on other programs. You have wealth accumulating within the family, reinvigorating the whole uh, family unit. And, this, and the, and the uh, chief actuary would score this proposal that's in that paper as achieving full solvency. And the reason that works, again, is because the Social Security revenues are entirely in, in place. They're not reduced at all. But over time, if workers are shifting so that half their retirement benefits are coming from the, pers from the personal accounts instead of Social Security, then over time the spending side uh, declines and you're left with a permanent long-term surplus uh, in, the, uh, in the system, which is what results from that kind of system. So it achieves full solvency while giving working people, uh, while giving working people a better deal. That is the basis, the essence for having a populist approach on this that, that can achieve broad grassroots support for entitlement reform that dramatically reduces government spending the most in history. 